Hey guys, welcome back. It's your brother in Christ, Weston. Thanks for joining me today. So today's article comes out of all the news pipeline. Let's get into it. I say thank you to everybody who commented on the video, not my last video, but the video before that. Um, what is it? I uh, said so I was speaking a little too fast. I appreciate the constructive criticism and the feedback. It is always welcome. If you ever feel like there's something that I could do better in my videos, please let me know. As I'm trying to grow this channel, I can't grow it without my audience obviously helping me as well, letting me know uh, things that I could do better. And I know that the Lord is going to speak through y'all as well. So uh, the Holy Spirit is going to speak through y'all for sure. And, uh, and I need that. So thank you anyways. Thank you for the future constructive criticism. So let's get into this. Um, it says here, I've talked about this before. And uh, this is kind of a lengthy article, but um, I think I've actually gone over this exact article before, but we're going to go over it again because there's some updates to it. It says here, Will a staged, unidentified aerial phenomenon invasion be a Project Blue, Ble Blue Beam catalyst for the New World Order? Beware another government attempt to manipulate and control the public. As you can see here, there's like this animated angel or whatnot. And so the whole, the whole idea of Blue Beam is to um, facilitate and simulate a false second coming of Jesus. So then, uh, so once this happens, all the world will unite um, or supposedly the people that were that are going to be taken off uh, the planet will be taken off there will be a fake alien invasion somehow you know will pew 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 try to fight back or whatnot um, or uh, or um, the alien invasion will somehow take people off the earth that are not fit for the earth right we've discussed this before but let's go over it again um, to refresh my memory and to make sure I'm getting this right um, According to late journalist Serge Manast, NASA is planning to uh, um, projecting a giant 3D holograms of religious figures into the atmosphere to initiate a spiritual apocalypse among the world religions, right? To uh, to simulate a false second coming, which then would have people, I got left behind or um, some other uh, idea about that. And then that, um, uh, what is it? Jesus came and all these people are gone or to present a false Jesus and to push people to some alien invaders or whatnot who are really fallen angels. So uh, let's read. Government uh, and its research partners, SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, would have Americans believe that uh, UAP is the new term to describe what has been previously termed as UFOs. To the, this conflation of the two terms is yet another government attempt to confuse and manipulate the American public. Retired FBI Special Agent John D'Souza adds the credence to the late Serge Manast's Project Blue Beam Theory, Project Blue Bean Theory, before delving into the fascinating discussion of Mr. DeSouza's FBI career. However, let's first review the mind-bending writings of Serge Manast. I think he's I think he's Canadian. Yeah. Um, investigative reporter from Quebec. Manast had theorized that a four-step NASA United Nations project would be the catalyst to create a new age religion that would synthesize all religions. There's your one world religion. Um, and uh, into one and lead to worshiping the Antichrist. So for anybody who's not a believer, you're going to fall for a, gr a great deception, right? A, a, a great delusion. God will send a strong delusion on those who would not believe the love of the truth, but would leave, but would rather perish. This is Second Thessalonians 2. This is this is a work of God that he will do. Not necessarily this, but he will send a strong delusion. It, this may not be the delusion. I'm not sure, but to me, it seems like a delusion. That, um, that he will allow this to happen so people will believe the lie because they would rather believe the lie than have believed on Christ for the salvation. Um, uh, let's just pick pull that up right quick. Uh, this is a second Thessalonians 2. Um, quick duck, duck, go. Let's go. There we go. Um, it says right here, it's verse 9. The coming of the lawless one will be accordance with the working of Satan. He will use all sorts of displays and powers. This is NIV. I don't read NIV. Um, here we go. Uh, the coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power signs and lying wonders. Um, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish, meaning the ones who are, when, you, when we're talking about perishing in the Bible, that means you are not saved. Uh, those who are perishing in the Bible, they are not saved and they will be cast into hell, resurrected for the great white throne judgment, given a body, then thrown into the lake of fire um, uh, because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. Understand that perishing did not receive love of the truth to be saved, meaning if you're opposite of that, that means you believed the love of the truth and you are saved and you're not considered perishing or considered sleeping if you're dead. Um, and for this reason, God, God will send them. 
a strong delusion that they should believe the lie that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. You're not getting out of that. There's no way you're getting out of that. Why? Because if God sends something, it doesn't return void. This is scriptural. God said he sends his word into the ground. It does, it, it does what its purpose to do and it can not return to him void. So if God is sending something, it's going to happen. That is a definite, definite statement. It says, God will send them, the ones who are perishing, who do not believe in the love of the truth to be saved, okay? A strong delusion. I think this is the strong delusion that they'll believe the lie and that they all may be what? Condemned. He's the only person that can, can condemn. You can't condemn. Who did not believe the truth, right? The truth of the gospel, the truth of Jesus, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. It will happen. It is a guarantee that you will believe it. So let's make sure you're not one of those, okay? So let's continue this because this is pretty important. Um, Manasseh theorized four-step plan, new age religion, uh, and led to worshiping Antichrist in a new world order dictatorship. As the reader will see, his theories published and updated in 2018 are really about ultimate control of humanity, humanity using religion as the hook. NASA would implement Project Bluebeam. Manasseh believed with a system of advanced mind control as well as top secret technologies in order to trick everyone into believing there's a second coming of sorts, right? It's always going to be Jesus because it's funny enough, you see Jesus here tricking a second coming. There's no second coming of any other religious figure. It's so crazy how the world actually believes in Jesus. They don't want to worship him and they don't believe him as God. So they have a demonic faith, right? Even the demons know uh, even the demons don't, and they don't believe, right? That even the, the, and they still don't worship God. They, they know who Jesus is. They know exactly who he is. They know he's the son of God. Know that he, God, the father, God, the son, God, the Holy Spirit, God is triune. They, they literally know and they would refuse. That's wild to me that you would want to spend it, not eternity in hell, a time in hell, right? Only to get resurrected to get, then get judged back into the lake, go with hell and death and Hades thrown into the lake of fire forever. Like there's there's no Catholic way of like burning out of your sins or, or purging your sins or that not everybody stays in hell. Once your sins are paid for per, are, are, and purged off in hell, you come out and you get to join everybody in heaven. No, there's none of that. It's an eternal, it's an eternal judgment that happens and you live eternally in this place forever. I can't even imagine. <laughs> It's videos like this, when they talk about second coming, they talk about eschatology, the, the the theology of last things. This is so critically important that I just don't think people can fathom the idea of a false second coming. The Christian can, because it, it, just the fact that this is here, this is a blessing that we no, even have idea that this is here. Um, and that scripture even talks about this new world order, this one world religion, this one world currency, CBDCs, um, uh, 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 this Chrislam, the merging of one one religions together, this antichrist and one world ruler, a one world government that it's it's all there. It's all happening right now. And this is stuff that I cover uh, extensively on this channel so people can know. Um, and that if, you know, this drops into one person who's not a believer and they would come to know the truth just by watching this video. And, and that's it. It's worth it. It's so worth it. Um, it says... Uh, Manasseh saw the first step into establishing a new age religion was to artificially create earthquakes. I've heard about this in strategic areas around the world, right? To simulate the second coming, right? And it's always about Jesus. It's always about Jesus that, that does this because they're pulling it straight from scripture. Climate change is being discussed in scientific circles here, here, and here. That's an article, a uh, little hyperlink in regard, and you can, you obviously get the link in the description for this, in regard to its impact as a catalyst for earthquakes. Apparently the jury's still out, but the consensus indicates that earthquakes could be could be participated, precipitated by certain weather events. The jury is not out, however, on the manipulation of climate. It has been documented and established for some time. Therefore, the link between the engineering of climate change artificially and, and, and creating artificial earthquakes is highly likely. The second step, Serge Manasse claim would involve a gigantic spaceship. Why do you think we see so many things in the sky right now? Do you, do you ever wonder that it's the U.S.? Um, um, operating with said craft that it's they're also operating with with fallen angels as well to 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 simulate this whole thing why do you think we keep seeing things in the sky why do you think they want to um um have their have this technology in reverse engineering um i believe it's it's one of two things it's either they have this technology from fallen angels which they do they're speaking with somebody and they're simulating this so they can they can bring the world into a one world religion 
um, and to unite everybody against a, 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 a global threat. Um, or, or it's really fallen angels and they're doing what fallen angels are doing and they're working with the U.S. is right. Demons, um, fallen angels, um, demonic in category uh, that are working to simulate so they can bring in the Antichrist. So they can bring as many people to hell as possible. Um, and uh, and yeah, so um, it says here, uh, during the stage of the Project Bluebeam, Blue three-dimensional optical holograms as well as laser, laser projections of holographic images would beam across the sky. Well, with, what would these images include? Projections of Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Krishna, Will mer Krishna will merge into one. And Manas said, Manas explained the technology behind this display saying that the conspirators would use space-based laser generating satellites to project simultaneous images to the four corners of the planet in every language and dialect according to the region as the whole sky is transformed into one massive movie screen. This new God, funny enough, it's a new God, right? It, it, no, there is no God. People don't believe in God. Jesus is not God. Uh, this one guy or whatever like it's funny that we say this and people truly believe there's a God They just hate that Jesus is God and that Christianity is true and they would refuse to to worship So they just make a new God Worship that and somehow that God will save them that makes the logic is not even there It doesn't even make sense it ha you have to be so Cognitive dissonant and it's like you're shooting yourself in the foot and saying this is okay And I'm bleeding and I'm gonna bleed out to death, but I would rather do that than ever worship Jesus to heal me what? Or knowing that I'm going to go to hell air and lake of fire and would never give my life to Christ to save me from that. Something is happening on the inside of that person. They're, they're being housed by a demon. That's 1,000% that's sure. That's, that has to be. There's just no, to me, no right mind that could do that. Um, um, as one, one massive show, the so-called fake and blasphemous religious leader and new God, of course, is Antichrist mentioned in the Bible. Just as few notable scriptures, Matthew 24, uh, verse 24, for false Christ and false prophets will arise and show great signs and wonders, so to mislead, and even possible the elect. 2 Thessalonians 3 through 4, which I just read, 2 Thessalonians 2 is, is very, is, you need to read it. Um, Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes all and exalts himself above all that is called God, that is worship as God. So he sits in the temple as God, showing himself that he is God. The book of Revelation 13 chapter, this is where we get uh, Mark of the Beast, uh, is quite descriptive about the deception of the whole earth, except those names are written in the book of life. This is right. Uh, in the following, after worshiping the beast, the Antichrist, and blasphemy against God, the authority given to the Antichrist over every tribe and people and tongue and nation, and Mark of the Beast is being given to those who will worship the image of the beast in order to buy and sell and to be killed. Why do you think there is CBDCs? Why do you think there's a quantum dot tattoo? Why do you think there is, um, there's technologies rolling? Why do you think money is flying out like crazy and people are like, hey, their whole conversation about Fed now, um, uh, we talk about social credit scores, we talk about, um, I'll be not not being able to buy and sell and trade. I've talked about this. Seeing your, seeing your face and your whole family cast upon an image of digital screens saying these people made the wrong post today and um, they don't agree with us. So they are not allowed, they're only allowed to spend this much today. And even maybe though they have a ton of money, they can only spend this much and they can only go to these areas. And you're not allowed to go to this, the best hospital you need. You got to go to this hand-me-down. You got whatever. You just insert some kind of weird dystopian uh, authoritative um oligarchy, totalitarian, communist, just whatever, right? Um, where there's one ruler you have to worship in all facets of your life, almost like he, my Bible's over here. I'm working on a Rubik's Cube. Um, that he would have his own scriptures, right? And if you're not, if you're not reading his scriptures, then you're not reading this, then it is, uh, what is it? Um, uh, then you don't worship him, right? And so it's like, okay, well, yeah, this is my name. Um, so what is it? Uh, it's just wild. It's super wild. So let's continue. Um, I'm trying to wrap up this video and I'm talking too much. Uh, and it's going to be a long one. And uh, uh, goodness gracious. Okay, uh, let's see. I'll try to finish up here. Some people believe the biblical scriptures should be seen as symbolic or futuristic and not be taken literal. It's literal because they are just too Im implausible. That's the issue. It, it's implausible that things, things are going to happen. But you have the Pentagon and people sitting behind a podium at the United States saying there's motherships that are in, in our galaxy. We're seeing all these things in the sky, UFO after UFO, eight to 10 foot creatures, okay? There was a video I did last year was talking about gnomes, spirits, legendary creatures, giants, Nephilim. Um, I said spirits, uh, uh, 
and these beings, because it was talking about UFOs and uh, um, Nimrod, talk, talking about, and this is all when the UFO stuff started to come out, I think in 2021, it's either 2021 or 2022, I think it's 2021 um, that I did this. And, uh, and then there's just all these other mythical S creatures that they start talking about. And it's just wide open because you're talking about supernatural beings. And now they're extraterrestrial, right? In the skies and you see all these ships. And now this is implausible. It, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. The logic is not there. That's why I said there will be no atheist or agnostic anymore because this is going to be the, this it's real. This is all real. Um, uh, stable diffusion. I'm just trying to look for the next part here. Um, this talks about UK mind control. Uh, UAPs could be very useful in staging a fake US and uh, a fake UFO invasion upon the earth, which would immediately cause massive fear and chaos in the world. This could be accomplished with the assistance of such technologies. And it's talking about, I've skipped over a lot because this is a really long article and I need to wrap this video up. Um, uh, the Granada Treaty regarding De Souza mentions an intriguing document called the Granada Treaty, which the Washington Post wrote a story on 19 years ago. Wow. The story makes a fascinating read about Nordic looking extraterrestrials and badly behaved chicken wings. I don't know what that means. Um, there's way, way, way more here. But it's it's a stage, and so that's what they're they're doing. So it makes sense to try to do that to fake, uh, you know, like how do you how do you uh, explain away the rapture? How would that happen? People just get taken, and the theory would be that alien ships show up, and as people are being taken up, like we've been, uh, you could say, mind controlled or, or groomed to see, is that people get beamed up, doo -doo 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 -doo, and people are going into the ships, right? Instead, it's really a trumpet, and the trumpet sounds. Then all these 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 uh, these spacecraft show up. People are being taken. We're really people are being taken off the earth. Christians are being taken off the earth, and then conform into this image of this antichrist that shows up, and people believe the lie, and then they will accept the mark of the beast. Um, and the Bible says that not everybody will. Uh, but the reason why the rapture is happening is because the bride of Christ is being taken off the earth to go be with their go be with their king and to consummate their marriage, right? And that's the, it's not really consummating their marriage, but it's spiritually in the sense that. This is a Jewish, the way the Jews would do it. Um, and you have to know about Jewish feasts to understand how that happens. So um, yeah, there's gonna be more on Project Blue Beam. I'll be sure to keep this covered. Uh, anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you all think. Thank you for your feedback, feedback on this video. Everybody knew that subscribe, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm trying to re reach a thousand by the end of the year at that. Um, but yeah, if you got any ideas or any uh, constructive criticism for me about any of my videos, please do that. That really does help me. And, uh, and I need that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.